should receive and which ones were personal. She wouldn't agree to that and yet got an even better deal. They got to decide, her and Cheryl Mills and David Kendall got to decide on the front end which ones they gave us, which ones they kept. Congress. They got to decide versus what happened to Michael Cohen earlier this week where they just go grab everything at his home and at his business. So the double standard is what offends, I think, so many Americans when you talk about all these investigations. Rod Rosenstein is the one that okayed that for the SDNY. Um, can you answer the question uh, without using Hillary Clinton's name? Do you think that it's looks a little bit suspicious for the president to pardon somebody who was convicted of lying to the it, FBI and obstruction of justice when all of this stuff is going on. Maybe maybe take President Trump's name out of it, maybe just President X, and this is going on around President X, and President X has pardoned look, somebody for doing something similar I, uh, in the past. Is there is there something, I if think, you look at it in a very neutral way, as a neutral observer, do you think it looks suspicious? I, I will tell you what looks strange, or to use your, your word, suspicious. What looks strange is when Rod Rosenstein writes the memo on why you should fire James Comey, James Comey then leaks a document to create momentum for Bob Mueller to be the special counsel. Rod Rosenstein imports Bob, uh, uh, gets Bob Mueller to be the special counsel. And one of the things that Bob Mueller is looking into is was there obstruction of justice in the firing of James Comey. If, if that's not the swamp and suspicious and strange, I don't know what is. So there's lots of strange things that happen in this town, but I don't see anything more strange than that scenario I just went through. Do you think the Justice Department is out to get, to the, get the president? I think what happened there with Rod Rosenstein doing what he did with James Comey leaking a government document through the, a friend to the New York Times to, for one stated purpose, to create momentum for a special counsel, and that special counsel was Bob Mueller. I think that looks strange. I think that's a problem. And then Rod Rosenstein, who signed one of the FISA applications and also approved this raid on Michael Cohen's office and business, who happens to be the president of the United States' lawyer and confidential attorney-client privilege information was grabbed. Unbelievable compared to what Secretary Clinton got, which is she wouldn't even agree to a uh, neutral you third party the to do it. Secretary Clinton name. I said answer without you saying have Secretary to. Clinton. You, because uh, that's what the American people see. They see two standards. Let's well, Secretary Clinton.